If you look around the world, half of the ministers of finance are not accountants or economists. Engineers have analytical skills because we are trained to look at data and arrive at a conclusion very methodically. That's what engineers do. I have a number of master's degrees. One of them is in oil and gas law. The title of my dissertation was an oil price regime, an appropriate oil price regime in an environment of low oil prices, which is exactly what Trinidad and Tobago faces. So I looked at oil producers around the world. I looked at United Kingdom. I looked at Russian Federation. I looked at the United States. And I used Trinidad and Tobago as a test case to determine how we should reform our energy taxation regime to get the most value for money for the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. But we managed to double the revenue take from oil and gas simply by doing that, from switching from what is called a profits-based tax to a volume-based tax. When you have a royalty, the price of the commodity, whether oil or gas, does not matter. Whether the price goes up or down, it's a percentage. In our case, it's 12.5% of the price. So it's taken off the top. So you get revenue no matter what. When you have a profits-based tax, when you're in a recession, you get no money at all. And in fact, BP had told us that we would get nothing from them until the year 2024. I applied my learning from that master's degree, which I did while I was in opposition. So while in opposition, I was retooling myself for re-entry into government. It's very important for people in leadership positions to continue their education. Some people do it by reading. There are some people who don't have the time to do another degree. So they, they read a lot and they educate themselves. I have preferred to continuously educate myself at some of the best universities in the world. This one is at the University of London. It's one of the most highly regarded degrees in economic policy in the world. Doing all the academic side of macroeconomic theory, microeconomics, revenue, and so on. So I'm constantly retooling myself, constantly learning, constantly increasing my skill set, constantly improving myself to do a better job.